The Jim Henson Company has created some of history's most memorable puppets at its creature shop in Hollywood. But the studio's latest character, Sid the Science Kid, is completely digital. He and his co-stars were created with a new combination of traditional puppetry and modern motion capture technology. It can typically take a month or more to create an episode of a show in 3D animation using computers, but the Henson Company's new technique allows it to create an episode in real time, making the process about as time-consuming as shooting a live-action sitcom. Brian Henson, son of the late Jim Henson, says it's an efficient and comparatively less expensive way to fill a 40-episode order for the show. The show looks like 3D animation, but it has the looseness and the funness of a performed medium rather than an animated medium. It has that looseness of the Muppets. Um, and, that, and that's very, very cool for us. So we call it digital puppetry because that's really what it is. Here's how it works. On a soundstage, actors in motion capture suits perform the character's body motions. At the same time, puppeteers voice their dialogue while using hand controls to move their characters' faces in sync on a screen. Powerful computers stitch face and body movements together. I do a vocal performance and a puppeteered performance or real-time animation um, at the same time. And this performance is welded on to the body of the person in the motion capture suit on set. All the action is captured by a virtual camera that shifts views in the same way that you'd look around inside a video game. After some post-production cleanup and editing, the show's ready for air. Sid the Science Kid begins airing on PBS channels in September. It aims to introduce basic science concepts to preschool kids. So what we're trying to do here is introduce that science readiness, that get kids excited about that type of thinking and, and, that, and, and, and applying that side of them to figure out how things work. At an, at an age that's early enough so that when they really come into a, a hardcore science curriculum later in, in their childhood, they will, at that point, be the type of child that is open to that. As a character, Sid is part science pupil, part stand-up comedian. Hello, Wall Street Journal. So, For the Wall Street Journal, I'm John Jurgensen.